I'm Dr. Kelly Morgan here at Trio Natural Medicine and today I'm going to show you how to do the 24-hour urine iodine test. So the test comes with this orange collection container and this um, box. So the box includes everything you need to complete the test. So you're going to have two test tubes here labeled number one and number two pre and post and then you're going to have the iodine loading dose and this is provided by our office and then your collection container here. Um, also, you'll have the lab requisition form, the instructions, and the FedEx prepaid shipping label, and the FedEx bag. So, the test is gonna be performed starting in the morning. So, you are going to start with the tube labeled number one pre. This is basically your baseline sample. So in the morning when you wake up, you're going to collect your urine into this cup, and then you're gonna pour a sample into the tube labeled number one. Um, and just make sure you fill it to the line here. Uh, so it's not filled to the top, just to the fill line. And then you're, once this is full, you'll put the urine sample in the bag, and then this is gonna be um, put in the refrigerator. So that's your baseline sample. Then after you collect that baseline sample, you are going to take your iodine loading dose. So there's four capsules here, which is 50 milligrams of iodine. So you take all four capsules at the same time with just a glass of water. After you take the loading dose, you're gonna be collecting your urine for 24 hours, so until the next morning. All urine in that 24 hours is going to be stored in this orange container. So you're basically going to pee into this cup and pour every drop of urine into this container. So this urine goes in here. In between collections, you um, want to store the orange container in the refrigerator. Um, and then at the end of the 24 hours, so basically you'll collect, your final sample will be the next morning urine collection. Um, at the end of that 24 hour collection period, you wanna measure the final volume. So you'll set the orange container on a flat surface measure the volume this is marked here I don't know if you can see that but once you get the final volume you're gonna write it down on the form right here where it says post and it'll say volume in milliliters so just put the final volume here and then once you write that volume down you're going to shake the orange container so you get um, a good sample so it's mixed well and then you're going to pour a final sample into the tube labeled number two post. So you just um, pop that up and then you will pour a sample from the bucket into the tube labeled number two, again to the fill line, and then screw the cap on, and then that final sample goes in the bag with the first collection that you did. So that goes in there. And also I forgot to mention, the tubes have a label on them, um, so you want to make sure you fill out your name and date of collection and date of birth on both tubes. So then the both samples are going to be stored in the refrigerator until you are ready to ship it back to the lab. So when you're ready to ship, you will put the samples back in the box. Make sure you fill out this form. So basically, um, the date of collection for each sample, your name, address, and then payment information here. So all the highlighted areas. And then this goes back in the box. Okay, and then the box goes in the FedEx bag. Again, you know, you want to make sure you store this, just keep it in the refrigerator up until you are ready to send it. Seal the bag here, put the prepaid FedEx label on the bag, and then you can either drop this off at a FedEx location or you can call the 1 800 number on the back of the instructions and schedule a pickup. Um, and it, you can either have it picked up at your home or um, office. Um, and that's it. Um, as far as the rest of the urine in this orange container, you can just discard it and then you can recycle both the orange container and the collection cup. 
If you have any questions, you can always call our office, 310-955-7261, and we hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching. Thank you.